EVs aren't novel anymore. And I'm sure some of you are early adopters of this tech as well. But for technology like this to become mass adopted, there needs to be a gateway product. Something that matches that technology with practicality, usability, and most importantly, at an affordable price point as well. We're spending time today with the Tata Tiago EV. Could this be that gateway product? Let's find out. As you can probably tell, we are in Goa and we have about 90% of charge and just over 200 kilometers of range on the Tiago EV. So we've come up with a bit of a touristy quest. Let's see how many we can knock off that list and still have range on the car to get back to our hotel. Sort of a drive to death Goa edition. And just before we start that quest, here's a little bit of the basics to get out of the way about the Tiago EV. So the Tiago EV is based on the Tiago Ice. It's still a cute little hatch with a few blue accents and badges to let you know that it's an EV. It's powered by either a 19.2 kilowatt hour or a 24 kilowatt hour battery pack. With 61 PS and 110 Newton meters or 140 Newton meters and 75 PS. In terms of features, it gets a few more than the ICE car. Auto headlamps and wipers, cruise control and dynamic reversing camera. We have the long range version, which has a certified 315 kilometers of range in test conditions. Let's see what we get in the real world. First things first, and it's the first item on our list and it should be the first item on everyone's list. Coffee. Let's go get some coffee. As we're driving down the twisty lanes of Goa, it's a good time to talk about how the Tiago EV is in the city. A little bit of nice weight to the steering. It's not super light. Doesn't make it any harder to drive though. In terms of power delivery, it's very progressive, but there is a little bit of power there. You can feel it pull quite nicely, but it's not really super exciting. Yes, we have sport mode, and uh, when you do switch to sport mode, there's a little bit more shove there, so it's, it can be a little fun. But uh, you also have the predicted range on the screen, and so switching between sport and uh, <laughs> drive mode tells me I'm losing about 10 kilometers of range. Uh, it's just the start of our drive, so let's not worry about range just yet. We may need to worry about it a little later though, so let's see how it goes. So coffee stop done, uh, we'll do a quick range check now. We started off at just over 200 kilometers of range and now it's at 178 kilometers. So we've dropped about 20 kilometers. Uh, I'd say we've done a little bit of stop and go driving while we've been shooting and uh, we've probably done about uh, 12, 10, 12 kilometers. So, so far so good, but we still got a lot of items on that list to check off. So onwards and upwards. Time to switch into sport mode and give it a little bit of beans so that uh, heavier steering feels quite nice when the road gets a little twisty and in sport mode there is quite a bit of performance it's not super exciting but still is quite a bit of fun in such a nice small package you could have fun with this car yes so adding batteries to this essentially ICE platform hasn't really changed the weight too much just gone up by about 150 kilos and it's still dynamically quite sound so nice and stable through corners so now that we're done well behaving a little badly can you guess where we're going next time now to talk about the electric part of the tiago ev Two battery packs are called medium range and long range packs and charging these at home with a regular 15 amp power socket will see them go from 10 to 100 percent in seven or nine hours respectively so overnight a 7.2 kilowatt ac fast charger will do the same in two and a half to three and a half hours and a 50 kilowatt hour fast charger will top either up in 58 minutes 
And now it's time for everyone's favorite pastime in Goa, the beach. Just another range check. We've been to the church, we've also been to the beach, and we're now at a range of 147 kilometers. Have we done about 30 kilometers? No, we've done about 20 kilometers since the last range check. So, yes, that range is following. We're, we are driving slowly and then stopping a bit and going back and forth for the shoot. So, yes, that's probably eating up a little bit more range, but yeah. We're down to 146 kilometers to go with still quite a few things left on that list. Tiago EV comes with three regen modes. So there's uh, one is the lowest and three is the highest. So far we've been driving around in the lowest regen mode. Maybe that's one of the reasons why we've dropped more range than we've actually covered. So now I'm switching to the highest regen mode. So going to regen mode three. At the pedal, there's quite a bit of a difference when you shift between mode 1 and mode 3. So at mode 3, uh, you need to be a bit more accurate with your throttle inputs because as soon as you lift off the throttle, the car starts decelerating. A true one pedal mode, it isn't because uh, you do still have to use the brakes in heavy traffic. But it's quite a bit of regen. So good way to maybe get back some range when you have a lot of traffic or even when you're going a bit of a downhill. So you can lift off and get back a little bit of range. And one way to save range is have someone else do the driving for you. It's not going to show up in the range though because those wheels aren't turning. Still something fun to do. Time for the next range check I guess. Uh, we have dropped under 100 kilometers of range. Uh, I have just about 48% of battery left. It is about 50 kilometers back to our hotel where we need to end today. We have a lot of items on that checklist to check off as well. So uh, it's going to be a rush to try and complete everything in this well sort of drive today. Let's see how we get on. So we're moving from the ferry and the next thing we're going to try and visit is a fort and I think it's now a good time to talk about the ride quality on the Tiago EV and like most Tatas that we've driven off late, we have to say it really has a nice balance. So in the city, sharp bumps and even larger bumps like speed breakers are dispatched with easily and one nice thing is that there are no thuds heard in the cabin either. So as a city car, quite comfortable. So we're done with the fort and I think we're going to have to be done with all the items on the list save for that last one, the sunset because as you can see the sun's fairly low in the sky, it's 5.30 now and we're running out of time with this car. In terms of range, we still have 68 kilometers of range to go. We've done about uh, 70 kilometers already. I've got 39% of battery so now I really need to start planning on how I get back to the hotel. And I think it's a good time now to talk about how it was driving this Tiago EV in terms of it being an electric car. One word to sum it all up, fairly ordinary driving experience. Now there's both positives and negatives to that statement. The positives being is that if this is going to be your first electric and you're not too experienced of a driver, it's a really good thing. So very predictable power delivery like we said 
and it's still as practical and usable a space as you would expect of a hatchback of this size. So not a new experience and that's a good thing. And the negatives to that statement of course are the fact that yes, we have driven most of the electrics and one thing that we found in common with all of them including the Nexon EV Max is that they are quite exciting in terms of the performance that they can deliver. And this is a little bit more muted for more experienced drivers. Not that it's not fun, it's just not exciting. When it comes to range and range anxiety, I have to say that, well, this as a city car will do everything that you need it to. Yes, spend the extra money for that higher spec battery pack to give you that extra 50 kilometers of range. You won't have the practicality of doing inter-city trips with a car like this, so like Mumbai to Pune for example, or Delhi to Chandigarh even. But uh, trips like Pune to Lanavla or Mumbai to Lanavla are easily achievable. And of course, you know that just one overnight charge is going to have you topped up again. So we made it to sunset. And honestly, we probably were a little too ambitious with that long list of items to tick off. But shoot for the stars and all that jazz, right? So what did we learn with the Tiago EV and trying to hit all those lists? Well, for starters, we know that it's a practical, usable EV that's going to be easy to integrate into your city life. Yes, probably not going out on the highway too often or trying to make long inter-city trips. But as your first EV and that gateway product, it could be there. 